To the UK now where the biggest rail strike in three decades gets underway today. It comes after travel chaos at Heathrow yesterday when it asked airlines to cancel 10% of flights due to a baggage backlog. For more on this, let's talk to Owen Corey, editor of Air and Travel magazine. Good morning, Owen. Good morning, Samantha. What more can you tell us about these rail strikes in the UK? Oh, every uh, connection to an airport is uh, disrupted, Birmingham, Manchester. The uh, Heathrow Express that would be used by a lot of Irish people, uh, down to two per hour, they're saying, for both today uh, and Thursday and on Saturday as well. Stansted Express, normally three, down to two an hour from Liverpool Street and Gatwick Express not running at all. All of these services telling people to look for alternatives. There's also a problem with Heathrow. It's a tremendous way of getting between terminals a lot of listeners will know and that obviously isn't an option uh, open. There are uh, obviously coach options but they take something like an hour uh, further and they're about an hour longer than the express services and of course there will be extra traffic and there will be heavily booked. Um, And what about the issues at Heathrow itself? Are they resolved? Absolutely not. We've um, Heathrow baggage was breaking down. We saw it breaking down over the last three months. Uh, people who have transferred through Heathrow arriving in Dublin, waiting for their bags in Dublin, will have found with the vast majority of those that went missing uh, were going missing at Heathrow. Uh, there was a bit of a meltdown on Friday. Tremendous pictures on the social media of this huge haul of baggages in Terminal 2, which is Aer Lingus's terminal. And they've asked uh, the airlines, they've pushed it back to the airlines and say, cut your services by 10%. Um, very, it has been straining. It does look like it's broken down. And the other thing that happens is that baggage handling is a very technical thing. Samantha, it's a lot of barcode reading. Uh, normally, if that starts going awry, there's a lot of, uh, there are people to actually help sort it out. But we all know what's happened with employment at airports since COVID. And that request from Heathrow yesterday for 10% of flights to be cut, were there knock-on effects to Irish flights then? Absolutely. We have 21 flights a day to Heathrow. So uh, that means that a few of them will be going. It's not actually that enormous because there is um, generally capacity to accommodate those passengers. Most of those flights, almost all those flights are Aer Lingus. But uh, Heathrow is a big connecting airport. So if you're if you're not in the 10% that are cancelled from Dublin and you are in the 10% that are cancelled on your ongoing, uh, there's it leaves you in a bit of a messy situation. And looking back home here, the Irish Independent reporting this morning that some of the world's big Biggest airlines have written to the transport minister here demanding action on the delays at Dublin Airport. What more can you tell us? Uh, that's a very interesting one because um, we have a lot of American carriers operating to from Dublin. Their policy since this uh, security queue problem has been to delay those outbound flights, uh, sometimes connections involved, particularly with JFK. But uh, it's a different pressure point from the other uh, from the other security. That's sort of an airport. That pre-clearance area is almost an airport within an airport. They have 17 flights in two and a quarter hours, uh, just around leading up to midway summer from about 10 o'clock and what we saw was um, that area becoming tremendously congested people being caught in the extra time it took to get through the initial security there's an extra security to get through to that area for american car for american flights that was running to 45 50 minutes on its own and then the u.s pre-clearance which wasn't adversely affected by COVID, but has um, also creates a delay. I've sat on a few of those flights waiting for people, uh, waiting for passengers to get through. So it has been an airport within an airport, separate problem from the rest. And they are writing to Eamon Ryan uh, to do something about it. I'm not sure what he can do. OK, Owen Curry, editor of Air and Travel magazine. Thanks for that update.